Hi, I'm Todd Fitzgerald, and I'm the instructor for the EC Council Certified CISO Program. I've been in the industry for the past 15 years. I have led information security programs for various companies. Uh, I am also an author and published two books and numerous articles on information security. I'm thrilled to be associated with this program. I think this is an excellent way to gain knowledge as to how to work with the executives uh, to promote the information security program and to manage the information security program within the organization. Uh, as you'll see here, uh, we have all the different steps that we'll be walking through today. Uh, is in each of these modules, uh, we'll have this introductory slide and we'll go through each of those different modules uh, in order today. Okay, let's get into the, into the topic area and talk about information security governance. Uh, the CISO's role is quite an important role in an organization uh, and to perform that job well, uh, it's really a combination of a large different set of skills uh, that are acquired over a period of time. Uh, because you're working with people, you're working with technology, uh, you're working with a lot of different um, things that are going on in the organization. And the CISO is there to help make sure that the information assets are being protected uh, uh, correctly. The role of the security executive has increased pretty dramatically in the past several years. Uh, a lot of news of breaches uh, that have been in the news have uh, raised that visibility in addition to a lot of um, what I would say are uh, legal and uh, regulations of different governments uh, around different sectors. You'll have healthcare laws, uh, privacy laws, a whole plethora of laws that really didn't exist. Uh, if we go back uh, a decade or so, uh, you'll see that a lot of those laws were in their, their very early infancy and people were trying to figure out what to do. Um, and fortunately, the level of the CISO has risen in organizations in terms of importance uh, so that, th that that role is being seen as just as effective uh, as some of the chief information officer roles, uh, a person uh, that's leading up human resources, uh, or the CFO, uh, where if you look at what each of those functions are doing, they're each taking care of an asset uh, but of a different type. And the CISO is taking care of information assets. Uh, if we look at the governance, compliance, and privacy, uh, we have different frameworks uh, that are there to align the goals and the objectives of the business to make sure that we're in alignment. Uh, we have to remember that information security and privacy is there to support the business and not to become the business. Uh, and so we always have to keep that in the context. As important as this role is, uh, if we made things too secure, uh, we wouldn't be able to operate as a business. Uh, we could pour concrete around our laptops uh, and that might protect them from somebody taking them, uh, but they would be totally unusable. And the one thing I really like about this program is it covers in such depth uh, what functions a CISO goes through. So I would pay attention to the course. Um, I'm going to be with you for the next five modules, and I really look forward to speaking with you.